Hi guys, welcome to week two of my photo challenge. Uh, for those of, the, of you that haven't seen my previous video, um, I've set up a Facebook group um, and we're doing a weekly photo challenge. And the Facebook group is called Steve Hedges Photography Photo Challenge. So all you have to do is go to Facebook, type in Steve Hedges Photography Photo Challenge in the search bar and the group should turn up or pop up. And um, as we're all in sort of lockdown at the moment and we can't get out and about like we would normally do, I thought it was a really good idea to have a Facebook group to give us a focus for our photography. And the challenges are all based on um, a, the, the premise or the, the theme of anything that we can shoot inside our house or in our garden, um, because we're not allowed out and about to photograph in lovely landscapes. So uh, last week's challenge challenge was uh, really a really wide um, remit. It was fauna and flora in our gardens or our houses. And each challenge, I want to make sure it's possible to shoot a photograph uh, for the, whichever theme I'm setting, either inside your house or in your garden. Because I'm lucky enough to have a, a small garden, which is great, but I'm, I understand that not everybody does have a garden. So I'm going to make sure the challenge is feasible uh, regardless of whether you've got a garden or not. So the challenge is for inside the house or out in our, in our gardens. So this uh, challenge, the next challenge, so the challenge for this week is texture. And I want you to shoot uh, uh, an image or up to three images actually with that brief in mind, texture. And it could be uh, any number of subjects. Um, I've got a couple of pictures coming up now and um, one of them is the bark of um, uh, a small tree I've got in my garden. And the, the other couple of pictures actually is a little area of my shed where I've, it's featured a now and the texture of the shed. And also um, I've photographed my fence, quite a close up on my fence with a sort of a, a focused in on, on like a knot on the fence, which has got some lovely color. So my pictures, I'm not saying they're fantastic shots and you're going to go, wow, this is an e enormously brilliant picture, but they're, all of them have been shot in my garden of very ordinary subjects. So, um, and I was looking for the texture of those subjects. And you, just a quick tip, you will find if you want to maximise the texture of any surface, ideally you want the light to come in at 90 degrees. So if, you know, my, if this was the, t the, the back of my hand was the thing I was photographing, I'd want the light to be coming in from this side or this side or even up here. But ideally sort of this side or this side. So the light's coming in and it's coming across the surface that you're photographing because every little bump on that textured surface casts a small shadow and it gives you a real impression of texture. If the light is coming straight on to the subject, it flattens out that subject and you get less texture um, showing up in your pictures. So 90 degree side light is where you're gonna get the most texture. Um, now obviously, you know, if we're shooting outside, we can't move the sun around, so you just have to wait until the sun is in the right position or pick a side of the subject where the sun is actually shining at 90 degrees. If you're inside, you might be that you want to use sort of like a torch or a desk lamp or something like that. Just make sure the light's at 90 degrees. Now, if it's cloudy or weak, which is not going to be, thank, uh, fortunately, but it, if it is cloudy, you can still shoot a textured, su a textured subject because the fine detail will come out quite nicely um, on a sort of a fairly close up subject. But fact of the matter is, if you want to bring out the maximum texture, wait for the light uh, to hit that textured surface at 90 degrees and that will work really well. So that's the challenge for this week. Uh, it can be, it doesn't have to be a close up, so my shots are quite close, are quite close up, uh, but you can shoot them with a regular lens, you don't need a macro lens, but if you do want to shoot some macro shots and show texture, that's also absolutely fine. And what I'd ideally like is a maximum of three pictures during the week. So uh, upload three, a maximum of three pictures to the Facebook page and that way, a, we're not going to be swamped with uh, loads and loads of pictures, and B, it also makes you think about your compositions and your photographs. And this is all about thinking and looking at the subjects we've got in our gardens and homes in a different way and being creative. So that's the whole point of this. So I don't want pictures, you know, from our back catalogue of images. This is all about the challenge for this next week. And uh, you've got until next Wednesday lunchtime to upload your pictures. And uh, 
you know the response from last week's challenge was fantastic we got some really great images it was really really great to see those pictures and i hope everyone enjoyed enjoyed the challenge um i've tried to comment uh, on all the pictures but as the group grow, grows that might not be feasible i will certainly look at every picture that that gets uploaded and i will definitely like them uh, and i will comment on as many as i can and it may well be i comment on them all i don't think i missed any uh during the last week but we'll see how we go uh, i think we're at a time of making this video i'm on about 115 116 members so it's been great it's grown really well and it's been a really fun thing to do uh, and I think hopefully it gives us a focus for our photography for the next week. So, good luck with the challenge. Let's see your best textured shots. Um, if the light's flat and you can't find anything that's super textured, then look for patterns. Um, because repeating patterns. But the, the, the main focus will be texture. If not, repeating patterns would also be uh, a, a nice thing that, to upload a, a picture on. So the, the main challenge is texture and a secondary challenge could be repeating patterns if we've got flat lighting. But if we've got a good week's light, and I think we have coming up, then texture is the way to go. So look, good luck guys. I hope you enjoy it. And I'm looking forward to seeing your images on the Facebook group. And again, once again, if you haven't already joined, it's Steve Hedges Photography Photo Challenge on Facebook. So uh, I will speak to you soon. Thank you.